Okay, let's talk about inexpensive phonics curriculum that will not break the bank and they are complete curriculum. The only one that is missing, these are the top three. There's another, there's a top four. Uh, the only book that I don't have right now is uh, How to Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. And after 15 years of homeschooling, I have owned that book four times. And every time I have tried to use that book, uh, it's ended in frustration and I've either ended up giving the book away or throwing it away, one or the other. Um, so we'll go ahead and do a good flip through of these ones so you can get an idea as to what's inside and which one would best suit your homeschool needs. So I do use all three of these books. This one, however, is our favorite. Uh, we will work through this entire book and then I will move to the other two books for some supplemental work from there. But you do not need to do that. One book in and of itself is a more than sufficient curriculum for just teaching phonics. So here's the table of contents for this one. So each chapter will teach these letters. And at the beginning of each chapter, it will go over the letters for you and then it will give you a brief description as to how you pronounce them and how to teach the child to read. How to blend the sounds. And then it just gets progressive with each lesson. So here you can see they're matching the first sound of the animal to the letter. Then we're blending. We have a sa and then sa. Here we go again. These are the these are the first letters they're learning this um, <clears throat> chapter, which is COSAT. So all the words that can make up the a uh, COSAT sound. There's a fill in the blank. And I do all of this orally. And that would be the first chapter. And then you go into the second chapter, you would be learning MDR. And it tells you what you need to, how you need to say it. Read the letter as it sounds, not by its alphabet name when you're teaching phonics. So it's kind of just repeats the same thing. Here are some words. He didn't want to write them in the book. He used his own sheet of paper. And it just keeps going until it gets more and more in depth. So you can see here, let's see. We have chapter 18, ow and th. And there's the description. Kind of the same format and layout. And then a review of those words. And then <clears throat> more words and sentences. Okay, the next book that I really like is the Alpha Phonics. <clears throat> um, it's kind of black and white, straight to the point. And it's actually a really good phonics program as well. So you've got your letters. Starting with A and M, A, M, and then AM. So it's just this, that's lesson one, very easy. <clears throat> lesson two, you're adding in some, the letter S down here, and you're at putting S with AM. So it just keeps building. I really like this book a lot. It works off of um, 
word families. So you can see I've already switched over to this book. We do do the other book mainly, but on a day when maybe the other book might be boring, I'll switch over to this book because I like for him to just uh, review the word families. And this book has them uh, beautifully laid out. So lesson 10 was three pages. So it just has more of the same layout and you can see where it just kind of builds more reading. Once you get into the higher lessons. See, so yeah, I love the word families. So I kind of use this as just a review of the word families and also for um, spelling. I love using this book as a spelling book for the lower grades. Yeah, and then in the back of this book is the teacher's manual. So you would read this. It just tells you when, you know, what to do when teaching phonics. Teaching the letter sounds. And then here's what um, is really helpful with this. Each lesson, you would come to the back of the book and you'll review the lesson. So like lesson, well, here's lesson one, which was really long. Um, it just tells you how to introduce. It just is a quick summary of each lesson and what you need to do as the teacher to explain it. So like lesson three is pretty short. And all these books, each lesson literally only takes like 15 to 20 minutes. So in the beginning, you're not um, putting too much of a burden on your child to sit for a long period of time and uh, learn to read. Try to keep it fun, fast, and, and easy. So here's the next one I like. It's a table of contents. Again, the beginning starts with teaching the parent how to teach. Now this book begins with teaching the vowels. This book reminds me a lot of the Abeka reading curriculum. It teaches the vowels first, A, E, I, O, and U. Uh, this is a game you print out, cut it up cards, you play that. And this is a sample lesson for A. Keeps going E, I, O, and U. And then it works into the two letter blends. <clears throat> so, what it does, just like in the Abeka curriculum, it builds off of the um, ladder. So, they're introducing the letter S. So, you have A, E, I, O, U. So, it's S, A, S, A, S, E, S. -a. So, it's just like that ladder reading ladder in the Abeka curriculum. And again, so now it's going to work through all the letters of the alphabet, building on that reading ladder. And then we get into the three letter CVC words. So here are the three letter CVC words. Again, it's using that ladder. So here's the vowels, the two sounding out two letters, then it's putting a, a T on the end and then you sound it out. Same thing. This curriculum is a good um, learning to read phonics curriculum, but also I like it as a spelling book as well. So this just focuses on reading words. It doesn't get into the sentences until right about 
now lesson what, I don't know which lesson it was I'm not sure but about page 37 you start getting into the one two three word sentences then it does the reading pyramid so you start with the one word get the next one next one next one and to your into a big sentence there now it's introducing the CC, the K, the K sound. The K sound also is a CK. So I hope this was helpful to you and just to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money on a phonics curriculum just to teach your child to read. You do have to be consistent. You do have to work through the entire curriculum to help them read um, and you have to be patient. But any one of these books will do it. Um, any one of these books have done it for many, many years. Uh, for many homeschool children. So they do work, but maybe just find the one that works best for you, your teaching style, and your child's learning style. Like I said, we tried the uh, Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons, and because it's so highly uh, raised about, I tried it over and over and over again, and with each child, they would get frustrated probably about halfway through. It just started to pick up the pace, was a little too fast for them, and they would get um, frustrated. So if they get frustrated, I'm going to get frustrated, and that's just something I don't want to do. So this is uh, the last lesson in this book and what it looks like. We've got Sean, Sean, and Abel. Compound words. Reading. And this is the end. Goodbye. So I hope this was helpful and encouraging to you to... Um, teach phonics. It is a daunting thing to do. I understand that and it does require a massive amount of patience with your child. So good luck, God bless, and I hope you enjoy it because it's an amazing feeling when you've accomplished it. See you next time. Bye.